Hey everyone, Raleigh Mason again, Majaro Inspection Services. Today we're taking a look at a video that covers rotting wood in your flooring structure and how that can come about through improper drainage, uh, problems with handling uh, rainwater off the roof as it's shedding, and then inside the crawl or, or basement as well. So we're going to talk about a lot of different things, show you some photos and a couple live videos from our latest inspection that came across some pretty bad rotting wood. So let's first look at a couple ways water can, can accumulate around the house. It all starts with, with rainwater on the roof, making sure the gutters do what they're supposed to do, and that your downspouts handle that water and then divert it out away from the house. Typically you'll see an inspection report mentioned five to six feet away from the house, and that's a pretty good rule of thumb uh, because you want that to keep away from that foundation before it settles in against the foundation and, and causes some, some issues with horizontal cracking. Uh, things of that nature but there's some other reasons you may get some water up against the house too uh, like water as it puddles or drains to a house things of that nature so here we're going to show you a couple short videos of some wood rock that we found in a crawl and this is typical of a yard that has drainage issues water close to what we call the rim joists here which is what we're probing uh, typically you don't have a situation where the wood just flakes away. So this this wood's pretty far gone. Uh, normally you probe into it to see how it, how it reacts. If you can't probe very deep, you know it's, it's pretty solid. In this case, probing in and just barely twisting the knife causes that wood to flake away. So pretty, pretty heavy content. You can see they've done some work to this area to try to shore it up to make sure that that wood rot doesn't affect the whole structure, the house itself. In other words, they've They've tried to reinforce flooring joists. They've put in a whole new sill plate, which is the bottom portion of wood that goes across the bottom there. And they've sistered up a lot of joists here. So you can see that wood joist right there is, is pretty rotted. Uh, some of it is, is done well, some of it not. This does not even go that far in. Um, that new piece of wood, you can see the block of wood to the left there just, just just for uh, added added value to look nice, I guess. But, you know, the overall goal is to keep that wood supported. The sheathing above for the flooring and then, and then the flooring joist. Here's the other side of the house though. And so, very similar. You wanna try to put your, your probe in and see if it chips away. Now this one is not flaking away very easily, but it is soft wood. So unfortunately, we're still having issues here. Now this section, you can see the sill plate on the bottom there, just sitting above that metal wrap plate, is completely gone. Uh, that that sill plate should be replaced. That that's a corner of the house, and typically will we'll, we'll end up depending on which way the flooring structure is laid, can be very load bearing. Um, at least distrib distributing the load for the flooring so you don't have issues with squeaking and spongy sponginess. So let's talk about a couple of reasons you may have water coming in in that area. Uh, you know, just overall moisture content in a crawl space could be a heavy factor in that. If you have water rising up from underneath, or if you have water coming in from the side, in this case, this is an example of where you have uh, a near brick and you have weep holes that could be taking on water. As that takes on water, you're going to have it come in and affecting the wood directly, which will lead to rot much faster. Um, now, this is only an issue perhaps when you have heavier rains, but if you have an issue with your, your gutters, downspouts, right at the corners of the house where it's discharging the water, or you have a hill that's directing water to the house, or maybe even a patio or deck that's uh, pitched toward the house, that's all reasons to have water constantly against the house. So here's some cost-effective ways to manage water, and that's downspout extensions. Uh, easily found at the hardware store, cheap price. Other ways are you can have underground piping installed uh, to divert water away from the house. You can have trenches around the house where they put in a fringe tile or type of system that takes water 
into a sub pump, which, would, which then takes the water outside of the house again. So there's all kinds of ways to handle that. Thanks again for watching. I hope this episode was useful and, and knowledgeable and give you some, some information about how to keep water away from your house and foundation and save money in the long run.